remember this tweet. It went viral this month because, obviously it did. SRCSET equals HTTPS, www.pedestrian.com content uploads 201,807 screen 20 shot 2020 18-07-1120 at 205.38.4820 pm. png. 775 w https www.pedestrian content uploads 201807 screen 20 shot 2020 18-07-1120 at 205.38.4820 pm 290 x3 00. Point png 290 w https www.pedestrian point content uploads 201807 screen 20 shot 2020 18-07-1120 at 205 38.4820 pm 768x794 point png 768w https www.pedestrian point content uploads 201807 screen 20 shot 2020 18-07-1120 at 205 38.4820 pm 242x250 point png 242w https www.pedestrian point content uploads 201807 screen 20 shot 2020 18-07-1120 at 205 38.4820 pm 493x510 point png 493w https www.pedestrian point content uploads 201807 screen 20 shot 2020 18-07-1120 at 205.38 48.20 pm 283x 293.png 283w https www.pedestrian point content uploads 201807 screen 20 shot 2020 18-07-1120 at 205.38.4820 pm 18 3x 189 png 183w https www.pedestrian point content uploads 201807 screen 20 shot 2020 18-07-1120 at 205.38.4820 pm 16 0 x 165 point png 160 w https www Pedestrian point content uploads 201807 screen 20 shot 2020 18-07-1120 at 205.38.4820 pm ATX8. 3. PNG ADW, HTTPS, www.pedestrian. Content uploads 201807 screen 20 shot 2020 18-07-1120 at 205.38.4820 pm 387 x 4 Zero zero point PNG 387 WSIZES equals maximum width 606px 100VW 606px guy is Freddie Alanis, a now legend. The 19-year-old says sucking a guy from Grinder back quote s 10 inch dick ruptured his airway, which landed him in hospital, where he took this infamous selfie. He actually didn't post the selfie until seven months later, but the wild nature of it caught the internet's attention, which has led to an interview with Freddie for them, in which he elaborates on the ill-fated blowjob that will go down in history, probs. My old neighbor who I found on Grinder, Freddie explained of the guy involved. He's, like, four years older than I am, so I knew who he was, but we never hung out or anything before. 
Freddy goes on to say that at first, he didn't realize anything was wrong. It was just this soreness in my chest. Nothing really hurt that bad. I thought, maybe my chest is just sore from what took place, and I didn't think anything of it. I woke up the next morning, and the pain was still in my chest, and it was sharp. I was hunched over and crying. Although when he first felt something was up, he didn't stop. I wasn't gonna stop. In the heat of the moment my willpower willed me to continue. Stamina. Not associating it with his sex life, Freddy went to the document. When I went to the doctor, when they said there was a rupture in my airway, they said the only thing it could possibly be was last night. I didn't tell them exactly what happened, because my mum drove me to the hospital. I told my mum that the night, before I was violently coughing, I had to pull something out of my ass really quick to cover it up. I was in the hospital for three days. I felt like, eventually, I had to tell the doctors exactly what happened to be treated the right way. It was January 3rd, so I was starting off the new year in the hospital. Freddy did tell the Grinder dude straight away, and they've actually hooked up since, although more cautiously. I've actually seen him since then. I saw him two weeks ago, I'm not even going to lie. I told him what happened, and since then, when we decide to hook up, or whatever he is a lot less rough. He's more cautious and aware of what he's doing. I don't want to be in the hospital. He told me he felt so bad. He works in an ambulance, so he's pretty aware of the human body and what's possible. Texting him on my way to the hospital, and I said my chest is really hurting, and he said he hoped he didn't cause it, because he knows it's possible. As for his parents, his mum still doesn't know the injury was sex-related, but Freddy reckons given the post's reach, it's only a matter of time. My post has made it to Facebook, and I guess it's circulating there, so it's a matter of time. I have accepted the fact. I have to let them see it on their own.